Hello, welcome to another episode of the How to Do Stuff with Xperia video series. In this session, we'll focus on creating a new dataset. Xperia is a document automation tool for Microsoft Dynamics CRM. And if you're talking about document automation or document creation, basically what you need is two things. That is templates on the one hand and datasets on the other hand, because creating a document is always creating a marriage between data and a template. In this session, we'll zoom into creating a first of those two elements, and that is the dataset. First step is to open the Xperia solution from the CRM navigation. The solution is used to manage the document automation platform, um, to create datasets and to create templates. There are two ways to create a dataset. Either you go to the overview of datasets, which you enter from the navigation right here, or the quicker way would be to use the quick link that is over here. For this training session, I'm going to use the quick link. First step in creating a new dataset is giving your new dataset a name and a description. Let's make a quote dataset for instance. And let's mention the included entities in the description. In this first step of the process, you also select the primary entity of your dataset, that is the starting node of your dataset. It also serves as a filter because the templates based on this dataset will only be available for records of this entity type. Now your primary entity can be a standard out-of-the-box CRM entity, but it can also be any custom entity. For this dataset, I'm going to select the quote entity as my primary entity. So let's move down to the queue. Second step then is to build my actual dataset. Now, as you can see, there are two columns here one on the left where you can add related entities to your dataset, and one on the right where you can select or deselect fields for the entities in your dataset. To be more precise, the left column provides all the many to many and one to many relations of your primary entity, and the right column gives an overview of all the fields and the many to one relations of your entities. Now for your quote dataset, you may want to include quote products as a one-to-many relation. That will be down here. And as you can see, as we click it, it appears right here on the right hand side as well. And you can open it up to start selecting or deselecting fields. You can do that one by one. or all at once on entity level. Now as you can see, some of these fields have a plus sign in front of it. And that means that there are underlying entities there which you can select as well. Now as you probably know, in CRM you can add two types of products to a quote either existing products or write-in products, which are products that you create on the fly specifically for the quote that you're making. Now, all of the data of write-in products is already included in the quote product entity, but the data of your existing products is not. So you'll need to pick that up from the product entity underneath existing product, which you have right here. And I can do exactly the same thing if I want to include data from my potential customer. Now, potential customer is a field underneath the quote, so I'm going to close this and open the quote entity up. And then move down to the potential customer field. Here it is. Open it up. And as you know, a potential customer can be either an account or a contact. Now, let's say it is an account. So I'm going to select account here. Which means in my data set, I will have quotes, quote products, products and accounts, and if I want to include the primary contact of my account, I can do that in the same way. Move down to primary contact, and select the contact entity. Let me save that dataset. 
and move on to the final step, which is creating a sample. Now you don't really have to do that, but it's pretty handy for template designers. The template design add-in for Microsoft Word has a preview function and a field inspector function that allows template designers to test their templates against one or more sample records in your CRM database. And this is exactly where you select these sample records. To add one, just click the plus icon over here, give your sample a name and select the desired record. I'll simply call it sample1. And I find the sample record by typing the first letter or using a wildcard character. I'll save it. And there you are. You can add more samples by hitting the icon, the plus icon again here, but for this dataset I'm just going to leave that one sample. That's it for now, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again soon for another episode of How to Do Stuff with Experido.